Hi, welcome back to another episode of the Turtle Bookworm. Today I am doing my very first unboxing for Owl Crate. I was on the wait list for a very, very, very long time and it finally arrived today, my very first Owl Crate box. And I was going to wait until the morning to do my unboxing, but all of a sudden my life started to feel like that part on 7 at the end where Brad Pitt's going, what's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? And I have to know what's in the box, and I hope it's not Gwyneth Paltrow's head. Uh, spoiler alert, by the way. Um, anyway, so let's get to it. It's very late. I'm exhausted, but I had to know what was in my box. I'm super stoked to find out what's in here. So, got my scissors. These are not my usual safety scissors because this is a lot different packaging. Please don't let me cut myself, because that would be humiliating. Oh, how do we open this thing? Oh, more tape. I don't like tape. Super, oh, hope you can't see my address on there. Yeah. Super, super excited. Uh, this box is supposed to be a spooky box. Owl Crate does themes for theirs. Uh, so let's see what's in here. I'm just going to set this down. So first we have our little, oh, it tells me what's in here. I don't want to read that, but my spooky owl crate cat. If you knock my stuff down, I will kill you. That's right. I'm going to threaten my cat. So we've got our shredded mess here. Okay. What do we have here? Oh, a scent pack. Vampire layer, the perfect scent for vampires and ghouls or for draining the life from your foes. I don't know what it smells like. Oh, I can kind of smell it through here. Oh, that's exciting. Mmm, smelly stuff. I wish they had like smell attacks. There's so many times where there's so many amazing smells that you want to share with your friends, even if they're not so amazing because they came out your bum. <laughs> Anywho, we got a little bookmark here. It says Adventure Sense. Oh, oh. First of all, I'm in love with this tag. This tag will never come off this package because this is amazing. So this is an Edgar Allan Poe little tote bag. Put all kinds of fun stuff in here. Pencils? Oh yeah, it's a pencil bag. We can put our pens and pencils in there when I move into my new office because guess what? My husband bought me a computer. Super excited to start doing better videos with my new computer. Excited. It should be built and ready to go for me uh, sometime in the middle of next week is what they're telling me. So that'll be exciting. Oh, look! Erasers! Oh! That could go in my little pencil bag with my pencils. Oh, 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 they can go with my Scrabble pencils that I got from my Instagram winnings from touching my shelf. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so glad I decided to open this despite how tired and delirious I was. Who knows, maybe delirium will make my video more fun. Oh, I love it. So I have this new obsession with magnetic bookmarks and I'll have to do a bookmark video. I have a little box and I just want to fill it up with all these magnetic little bookmarks and here's two more, a little skull and a little witchy poo. I was going to tell you an inappropriate joke and I changed my mind. We're not going to do that. Ooh, in the book. The book. Okay. So this book recently came out. It is on my Amazon wish list. I had to resist buying it despite how much I felt like I had to have it because I'm on a book ban. However, my husband did grant me permission to buy some books from... Um, what the heck? Oh, bookoutlet.com because I had a coupon that was only good for X amount of time. So I will be doing a book video, a haul video for that. Anyway, so I'm super excited. This is, I don't know which side of the camera's on, a madness and, oh my gosh, I cannot talk today. A madness so discreet 
And this is by Mindy, Mindy McGinnis. Can you tell I'm tired? It's late, but I had to know what was in this box. Mindy McGinnis, the cover alone is what drew me in. This sounds amazing. Um, so, I don't even know. Let me just open it here for you. So let's read what Owl Crate has here. I can't read the writing right now because I'm way too tired. But there's a nice little letter here. And I'm really sorry this video is kind of half-assed, but I am just exhausted and I was being selfish and I really had to know what was in my, my box. Oh, poster. Oh, I can hang this up in my office. Okay, so Grace has denied language for so long, shutting down not only her tongue but her mind as well, so that no thoughts could form. Her life had become a fog, one that would end soon if she found a way, yet as she writhed on the edge of true madness, her brain rejected the safety she'd made for herself, patching together a sentence to shock her into action. I am going to die. The voice of her own thought was oddly familiar, like seeing an old friend on the street after some time apart. Grace stilled, listening to her consciousness, and found herself rebelling against the conclusion it had come to. I'm going to die, and my baby with me. Grace screamed in agony against fate and futility, against the life she should have lived versus the one she'd been delivered into. Her cries rolled down the darkened hallways, only to dissipate before reaching anyone's ear. So this is about a woman in an asylum... Uh, in Boston, a Boston Insane Asylum, and that's really all I care to know about it. I like reading things on the blind, meaning the less I know, the better and the more intrigued I am because it's so much more of a mystery. But this cover, oh my god, this cover, this cover is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Cannot wait to dive into this, and I need to take it off of my Amazon wish list. Whoop, whoop. Thanks, Owl Crate. I'm looking forward to next month in November when I get another one of your boxes. This has been a lot of fun. Hopefully next video will be better and more thought out. And I'll have been able to do it on my computer. We'll get some edits in there and cut out all the stupid crap that you really don't care to hear about. But right now, we got one shot. I kind of like the one shot, though. It's kind of fun. Anyways, so until next time comes when we do an unboxing, a book haul, a book review, anything of the like, Keep on reading in. Cheers.